Hey guys and gals, so I'm going to be talking to you about the micro bit and showing you uh, one of my favourite projects. Um, it's going to give you a good introduction to if statements uh, and how circuits work. So what you're going to need is your micro bit, you're going to need your battery, your portable battery, you're going to need some cables and crocodile clips, a speaker uh, with some exposed wiring. If you haven't got a speaker like that, you can pick up a transducer of Maplin. I'll put a link in the description there, about £1.50. Um, and an orange. Okay, so also Play Doh if you got it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to focus in down here and have a look at our micro bit. So we're going to start by connecting everything up. So we're going to take a crocodile clip and attach it to the ground. Okay, um, we're going to attach that one to our speaker. So just one, one cable on our speaker. Going to take another crocodile clip and attach it to the zero I/O on our micro bit. And attach that to the other cable on our speaker, the wire on our speaker. Make sure those two aren't touching. And take out orange and some play day. Mm, got a little heart shape there. Okay, with our crocodile clips, we're going to attach a crocodile clip to the heart and we're going to attach that to uh, number one IA. Remembering IA stands for input output. Okay, and our last crocodile clip is going to go on to number two. Okay, and that's just going to go into our orange, like so. We're now going to connect our battery to our micro bit, and our program's already loaded onto the micro bit, and I will show you and walk through the code in a second. So, what we've got here is a little sad face, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bridge the connection. So, I'm going to put my finger on ground and touch either the orange or the heart and I would expect different things to happen depending on what I was touching so if I'm touching ground and I touch the orange I get a shape of a diamond up on the screen and a loud buzz okay and if I touch the ground and the heart I get my heart image and a different sound. So what I will do is I'll walk you through the code now. Yeah, like I said, I've used Python, um, or MicroPython, I should say, uh, which is a really nice language. Um, this is a really good hands-on tutorial uh, and project to get you started. Um, so let's have a look at that now. Okay guys and girls, so I'm going to walk you through the uh, script, I've called this touch script just because purely we're touching things and uh, it's creating a reaction. So, from microbit import start, you should know what that means by now, but it just basically means import everything that we need to run, run the Python. So, we're importing the music modules, so import music, and then we're looping. Well true, if pin 1 is touched... Okay, do something, and we want it to display dot show image heart. So built in image uh, available in the library. Uh, music dot play, music dot jump. So again, or jump up. So again, uh, something that's already uh, there for us to use. Else, pin two is touched. Display dot show image diamond, or music dot play, music dot budding. So we've got several different built in things that we're using. Okay, and then else display image dot sad. Very, very simple little script. This uh, looking at it, you should straight away now be able to know how you can use pin one. So, if pin one is touched, 
uh, pin two is touched and so on so you can get you could copy that out and put it into your own script if you want to do something else um, you also now know how to if you import music and uh, you can do music.play to get a sound to play so you've picked up a few extra tips um, I haven't commented my code that's really bad form um, you should always put your comments in to make it easier for other people to understand the code I will do that before I share share the final uh, piece of code and if you want to know sort of a list of the the built-in things that you can use then look at the documentation so if I uh, go back so we're back at the home page now um, when you go on to create code you'll see you've got the JavaScript environment the block editor the touch developer and Python uh, if you click on editor documentation it will take you to the documents and down the left hand side you've got some tutorials you can follow and if we actually look at uh, for instance images scroll down a little bit these are all the images you could have that are already uh, sort of pre-configured for you so clocks uh, silly surprise loads of different different ones um, and again the same under music if we have a look at music there's some music you can use birthdays weddings funerals punchline Python um, so uh, so on and so forth uh, try out the Nyan okay um, I hope this has been useful and I hope it gives you some inspiration to uh, have a go on the micro bit uh, try a bit of Python out and uh, do share do uh, tweet me and uh, comment below and let me know what you think mm -hmm.